at the point when the minor, seated at the saloon piano, is playing like a maniac. Yes, yes. Please do. Thank you. Then the stranger turned, and his eyes, they burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. Then his lips went thin in a kind of grin, and he spoke, and his voice was calm. And boys, says he, you don't know me, and none of you care a darn. Yes, 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 but get to the point, please. But I want to state, and my words are straight, and I'll bet my poke they're true, that one of you is a hound of hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head, and the lights went out, and two guns blazed in the dark, and a woman screamed, and the lights went on. And two men lay stiff and stark, pitched on his head and pumped full of lead, was dangerous Dan McGrew, while the man from the creeks lay clutched to the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. I'm not as wise as the lawyer guys, but strictly between us two, the woman who kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou. Are you still there? You were joking, of course. Joking? Indeed, I was not. Oh, then I am not joking when I tell you that if you persist in this ridiculous notion of joining our profession, your wisest course is to register at once for unemployment pay. That will not be necessary. I am of independent means. Dear lady, you didn't let me finish. You made your view quite clear. No, 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 no. I was about to point out that your performance had merit, great merit. Your choice of material let you down. Yes, definitely, duchess parts, regal roles. I see you with other material performing like an angel. Angel? Is not that the term for a backer of theatrical enterprises? <laughs> droll, very droll. No, I simply meant you have a lot to offer the theatre, Mrs. Marple. Miss Marple? Ah, I'm delighted to hear that. In our profession, the marital knot is so often the bolt on the door to the room at the top. Do I take it then that you are offering me employment, Mr. Cosgood? Well, as to that, not exactly employment. I was thinking rather along the lines of an apprenticeship. Unpaid? Well, uh, in a word, yes. I accept. Splendid. Splendid! Welcome to the Cosgood player. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, <clears throat> now, as to lodgings. I prefer to live, as it were, cheek by jowl with my colleagues. Naturally, naturally. We're at Westwood Ho, Prescott Street. Mrs. Harris, excellent landlady, very clean. Good. Well, I'll just pick up my baggage at the YMCA. <laughs> Au revoir. Cosgood, drunk again. Now look here, George. This man is not drunk, Mr. Cosgood. He's dead. 